Hello everyone, today I want to share with you one of the most important lessons that I have learned being a follower of Jesus and seekers, you might be interested in hearing about it as well. If you followed me along this YouTube channel, I think it's been about a two-year journey so far and maybe you've seen some of my earlier videos where I was so excited about discovering the truth in the Bible and what is the correct application and what is the truth pretty much about what the Bible is teaching and along the way something that has been really frustrating for me as someone that is i would consider myself early in learning these basic teachings of christianity even though i've been a christian all my life and i've gone to church and i've read the bible so for someone that can relate to me maybe you're even earlier in your own journey it can be really frustrating when you're kind of just on your own you might go to a church maybe you don't learn too much in depth about what the bible teaches about certain things you might have a lot of unanswered questions and sometimes church leadership doesn't really feel like they want to take a position or put that out there a lot of churches don't want to cause division so a lot of things might be better left untouched or at least in their opinion so you're pretty much on your own if you have extra questions maybe you can schedule a meeting with a church leader or maybe you do have conversations with other christians that might be a little more read on certain things but maybe you find yourself in a situation where you're kind of a little isolated and you have a hunger to get some answers to your questions you want to go more in depth about what your christian faith is all about and so perhaps like me you'll want to go to the internet and explore maybe ask a question on google and you'll come up with so many different videos different articles and it can be very overwhelming and frustrating feeling like well how do i know which one is right i remember how refreshing it was for me to come across a certain circle of christians online that claim that their views are the biblical view and all the other christians are doing things wrong and they're just wrong about their interpretations of the bible so here it is this is one of the most important things that i've learned in my own journey it's not about looking for a person or even a teaching but it's more about you having a relationship with god and walking through this learning journey with God. If you are looking for a person, the Bible teacher, to learn all truth, every correct biblical interpretation of the Bible, you're going to be disappointed because unlike God-breathed scripture, the Bible teachers that we have today are fallible. They can make mistakes. They may be correct, about some things but they may be incorrect about other things and so if you have a desire to just keep things simple and just believe whatever your favorite bible teacher believes then that means you're going to be believing the wrong things that they are believing and teaching as well it's an illusion to think that you have found the bible teacher and so everything that you believe is correct and biblical another error that christians might fall into is trying to be a part of the camp of historical Christians. And what I mean by that is you may want to identify with a certain historical figure, but it's kind of obvious that a lot of these historical Christians, they believed some pretty controversial things that we reject today. And they held to some really appalling views of other people of different ethnicities so if you're a christian and you want to feel like you're a part of a bigger thing you're a part of historical christianity 
and you want to identify with, for example, the reformers, I would say that you're kind of choosing to be blind about all of their flaws and all of their mistakes. So it's important for us instead to just be very honest about what we're learning from these historical figures what seems to be correct and we should also be just as vocal about what seems to be very incorrect from these figures in history that we may be inspired and they may be such a good example in other areas of their life and their teachings but we don't want to make them on a higher level than even jesus himself as followers of jesus we are following jesus we are doing our due diligence to learn, to study different perspectives and to compare those things to best understand what Jesus was talking about in the Gospels and throughout the Bible. We're doing our best to learn and to better understand God as we are really studying His words and learning about the culture as well. And this is going to be a life long process. This is going to mean that we're going to follow the Bereans example and even if Paul himself, who was one of the most influential writers in the New Testament, he wrote so many books. So even if Paul himself was standing right here and he was telling us this is what scripture means. Well, the Bible teaches us through the Bereans and Paul himself praises the Bereans for doing this. They searched the scriptures and they wanted to make sure that what he was telling them was the correct interpretation of scriptures and that this is the teaching that God is bringing to us. They wanted to do their own due diligence and search the scriptures and make sure that that in fact was consistent with scripture. And that is what we have to do as followers of Jesus. We need to be committed to doing our own due diligence and sure let's listen to this camp over here of christians let's look at this camp over here of christians and instead of just focusing on oh they're heretics or oh these are all the things that they're doing wrong instead we can take on the mindset of i'm so hungry to know what is god's truth and i'm willing to find it whether here or here or here and also, it's going to require us to not be intimidated. It's going to require us to have this close walk with the Lord and to explore these things, constantly praying about what we're learning with God and asking Him to reveal to us His truth. So even as we're exploring, for example, apologetics, when we are considering the objections that atheists, for example, may raise, all of these things, because we love God and we want to know what His truth is, we're going to explore these things, but being committed to our relationship with God and exploring these things along with Him. Often people want to separate, no, you should explore these things without like any commitment to a religion. But whether you are a seeker or whether you're a Christian, if you're honestly seeking and comparing and thinking critically about all the things that you are learning from different people, Christian or non-Christians, if you're honest about it and you're really thinking through these things, you're comparing these things, and you are committed to the stronger reasons to hold to a view, then I believe whether you're a Christian or non-Christian, I think you're going to see that there are very good reasons to hold to Christianity or to hold on to a certain view taught by someone rather than other within the Christian community. That's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you enjoy watching videos like this one, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and let me know your own thoughts about this in the comment section. And remember to share this video with someone you know. Mm -hmm.